Okay, guess what we have today? We got something interesting that I should have done like a year ago or so. Hold on. I was just mapping this here. This is going to be This is going to be an ongoing series, okay? So, what I'm going to do is reverse indirect okay i made this last night this is a not a screwdriver it's just file down piece of 3 8 inch steel that you can get at lowe's in the welding section i guess um yeah and i drilled a hole in this little stump of mulberry right i just found it at the dump the landscape dump just like this it's just been drying out for a long time so it's mulberry nothing special I just drilled a 3 8 inch hole in there at an angle see I don't know what angle that is 50 51.6 degrees I don't know I guessed I can measure let's measure for the guys who have the the measure syndrome Let's see, can I do it? I don't know if I can do it with this. I'll give you an approximation. Yes, no, maybe. <laughs> I don't see. That don't make no sense. What is this? Oh, I, I get it now. 70. Seventy, almost on the money. Seventy degrees. Right? Let's check it out. Leave it. It's different. Let's see. No, it's more than seventy. Let's just find out. I'm curious too here and I'm wondering. All right. Starts out zero in the middle. So the middle one, it's like 75. 75 degrees. All right. Useless information, but maybe it makes for a good video. Because you're going to adapt to it anyway. No matter what angle it is, so I would practice a little bit. I, uh, I won't. Uh, I won't lie. I spent ten minutes last night experimenting. What did I do with it? I've got a little doodle that I did last night. Hold on. I want to show you the doodle if I can find it. Oh yes. Didn't, I didn't spaz out and throw it in the waste basket. I did a doodle last night. It took me 10 minutes. This is the Romolo eBay chert heat treated to three, 385. Somewhere like that. This is a heat treat. Heat treat. Three, let's just say 345 to 385 because I can't remember. All right. It naps okay. It's not, it's not extremely high grade shirt. I would put it at a six or a seven. It's above mid grade for sure. But the reason why I'm using it is because I don't mind wasting it in case I mess it up. When am I gonna start? People have been waiting a year for this. A year and no one has done it. I'm surprised no one has done it. I figure with all the attention that it might get there we go firmly seated I uh, figured with all the attention it might get the attention hogs will be already on it but they didn't get on it so what is the diameter I mean what's the what's the thickness 
it's like one and a half millimeter and quickly goes to two millimeter and then three and then you know but it's like one and a half or I would say one millimeter across because I'm going to sharpen it a little bit more I dulled it just now with the hammer getting it seated and you know I got a feeling I'm gonna to have to be doing this a lot okay now what I did was when I first started napping last night I used my mallet to hit the workpiece to do the indirect percussion but it's really bulky and I noticed that the guys from India or Pakistan or wherever these things are made use a very skinny handle like this this is a piece of bamboo skinny handle with a a little hammerhead and I think that's so they can see what they're doing with the skinny handle you can see what you're doing I'm, I'm trying to do the indirect reverse indirect like this and I can't see what I'm doing with this big old fat thing so I took an intermediate course and made this really fast this took, it took me like five minutes so 10 minutes to do this five minutes to do this and maybe another 30 minutes to get the steel file down because I, I made more than one Where is it? I made this one because I made two holes I'm going to be using two different ones and uh, I cut this one to size aluminum so I'm going to be using aluminum as well all right six minutes 40 seconds we lost half of the viewers because I haven't started napping yet we're just perfect okay so this is almost two inches wide the thickness is two millimeters let's say 50 and it's like nine or ten let's just do let's just say 10 millimeter five to one now I will be doing thick stuff also on this I think what they start out with in India or wherever they're making these is with chunks like this I do not think they use this for the whole process this this arrangement I think they use various different things plus direct percussion and I'm, I'm thinking they're using direct percussion for the initial shaping you can do this with a bopper this th I did this with indirect percussion but you can make this with a bopper pretty fast easily I think that's what they use over there too all right so normally this is facing away from the napper but since you won't be able to see it if I face it away from us I'm facing it toward me kind of at a diagonal so you can see and you hit the workpiece let me zoom in you hit the workpiece And it removes flakes. It's like magic. Can you see? Maybe, maybe make it so it'll cause blindness, and you'll be able to see. You know, cause me blindness because these flakes are flying up into my face. All right, the lamp needs to be somewhere where it's not casting a shadow. <clears throat> this is a momentous occasion. Got to have the lighting just right right can you see you're gonna be able to see it come on can you see what happened I'm hitting the workpiece I'm hitting the stone this is white tail antler Shadow's still interfering, huh? Let's see. See what happened? I just... It's all just a little bit... It's all just little tappings. There's no really big hits. Ready? Now, with practice... I should be able to do narrow entry.
Okay, let's try to be a little bit neater because it, it blew away a lot of the side there. But as you can see, that's that's almost effortless, right? And I got to admit, this is easier than vertical punch because I can see what I'm doing. Even though those flakes are flying up at me, this is getting blurry. How do I get it to not be blurry? Let's see. If I don't have the hammer in the way. You have to angle it. So maybe I'll do a front view, but anyway, you can adapt to this angle. It's just a matter of getting it to respond. I'm trying to get it so that the shadow is not interfering. And it seems like I need this to be a little flatter. And skinnier. Now the question is going to come up, can I use antler like this? Yes, I do have antlers also, I just don't have anything made up or prepared. This is going to be an ongoing series and I'm going to make some antler reverse indirect percussion stuff. Videos and punches and hammers. Yeah, those are hitting me in the face. So you don't want to do it at this angle, I'm just showing you so that you can see. Okay, these are these chips are hitting me in the face. I got my glasses on, so it's no big deal. It's blowing away a little bit too much of the sides. Right, but it's almost effortless. The only thing is, I'm worried about breaking, breaking the workpiece. Yeah, I'm, I'm just barely tapping it. It's not much at all. Let's see, how much is this weigh? I'm just going to weigh the whole thing. Uh, 2.7 ounces. It's not much. And I've already got notches in here pretty easily. Although they, I did blow away the sides. If I make this even thinner, I think I can get it to where I can do more uh, notches that are more narrow. See, and this is hitting just above. I'm hitting right there. I'm hitting out of the range of the the flake. See how the flake is right up, right up to there? I'm hitting right about there. And you get used to it after a while. And yeah, you can do the same thing with antler. With this thing here. I just haven't made it up yet. Now... What about curved? Yeah, let's do a curved. A curved notch. I had to hit a little bit harder to get that to go. I gotta be careful that the bottom of this <clears throat> doesn't touch the inside here because that will ruin everything. If you don't have any experience with notching, this is going to be hard for you. 
unless you're a craftsman extraordinaire, then you'll, you'll pick this up in less than 15 minutes, even though you don't know how to do notching. Yeah, you'll pick this up quick. It's not that complicated. Let's get this narrow. So I'm not hitting the sides, that way I can do a curved notch more easily. I am worried about blowing out, blowing it out this way now that I'm curving upward, but I'm just going to do it anyway. I might blow out this entire barb, we'll see. Can you see? It's got to be seated at the bottom of that bulb, the previous bulb. If it's not seated in there, it's going to stall just like normal. Yeah, I stalled it. Let's see. Let's try a little bit of a steeper angle. Well, I stalled that one. So I'm going to have to widen it out. See, I hit, let's see. I hit right here on the side to thin it there so now I can flip it over and hit it right there like that on that part that's not stalled and see what happens but I gotta be one I gotta be worried about this part down here that it doesn't touch this part so it's a delicate operation okay I'm having to hold it at a steep angle yeah it, it's not gonna go I need to make it more narrow I'm just going to be winging it and learning as I go. Wait a second. I didn't need to turn the whole thing. I could I could have just turned the piece of steel. All right, hold on. Hold on while I unspazify myself. All right, I'll make it angle away in such a way. All right, see, I can turn this. I forgot. Okay, so I can turn this. I know I'm going back and forth, just bear with me. You know, I'm not supposed to be doing this, I'm supposed to be going nice and smooth, but. Oh well. All right, are we getting it? Are we there yet? It's 
it's not quite a point. See that? It's like, it's like a flattened point. I'm taking away material so it doesn't bump into the sides of the notch. I'm ready. I'm ready to continue and trying to make a vertical notch here. All right. I gotta be able to catch the bottom of that bulb. If the angle's too steep, oops, I'll try to show you what I'm talking about. There's no avoiding this. I gotta move the whole thing. All right. Okay. What I'm talking about is this angle right there. I'm having to do a real steep angle instead of like this, like normally would be doing. I have to do this to get into the position to be at the bottom of that bulb, I gotta go way up like this. Whereas I should be like this, but I don't have enough of a flat spot in there. Because it's starting to stall. The angle's really, really steep. It's not flat like this. It's very steep. So I gotta change this angle like that. Okay? Now, like I said, this is just the first in the series. As I'll get better, the explanations will get better. That's the idea, anyway. Now, should I hold pressure? Should I put pressure, like, should I grip it and then pull it down? No, because then it pulls down way too much and that this will touch the sides of the notch. I'm just holding it firmly so it doesn't go anywhere after I hit it. I'm going to have to hit it pretty hard. So, it's not going to go anywhere after the hit. You see how I popped that out? It popped it out. So now I can pop this part out. And it, as you get practice, it just becomes second nature. We got shadows. Yes, no. You can increase that angle like this. Is it starting to stall? I hit it harder than usual. It's not going anywhere. You can see the metal depositing in there. Okay, so you kind of know when it starts to stall. Let's see if I can do it still. Let's see if this is good for unstallification. It's, it's not bad, but in order to continue, I would need to thin it down somehow. It's too thick, but it did curve. Let's try, let's try on the other side. I'm stalling it because of my technique. Yeah, I really need to be aggressive with the pop-outs and not do not do too many of that repair. You know, not do too many of the little tip taps. 
Where did that come out of? That last flake was right here. All right, so I'm holding it in my hand like this so it doesn't go anywhere when I hit it. It's not that firm, but it's firm enough so it doesn't go. You know what I mean? Nice big pop out. That's part of it from somewhere. Uh, it's typical of punch work I just don't do much punch work in the notches I used to do indirect percussion punch work on notches but I just find the crunching them in is easier but this isn't bad It's a little bit scary that because you can break it easily like that. All right, let's let's try some practice. Yeah, to get narrow entry, there's got to be a, a certain technique to it. But it can it can do a job on thick stuff. And I'm not afraid to be aggressive with this because it's not going to be a finished piece. It's just a doodle. All right, so it's, <clears throat> you can attack stuff that's pretty thick. Yeah, so you can attack stuff that's really, really thick. See, that was a big old flake. Now, what about on something thin? All right, let's try that. Much less force. With percussion, see how that how that works with percussion it's unpredictable easy to blow away part of the sides Try not to stall it out. Finding it needs a, a sharp, a sharp uh, corner. Where was I? Yeah, sharp corner is better. I think. Let's see. Yeah, I'm having to hit it really hard to get it to keep going. So it's going to take some practice to do the narrow notches. More practice and a more narrow or thin tool.
Yeah, the more careful you are, the better the results, of course. But I got to be really careful. Yeah, I don't want it to slide down too far. I'm going to make it more narrow. If, it, if it's going to slide down that much when I strike it, I need to make the tool more narrow so it's not going to touch the sides. I'm checking. When I do that, I'm checking to see how close I am to the corner of the tool tip. I don't want to be too far up or too far down. I want to be right there. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see how antler does. Um, this wears down fast. See how fast that corner is already worn down? Antler will wear down even faster. So I might have to resharpen it ever, after every strike. Maybe with antler. We'll see. I am going to try it with antler soon enough. Maybe not in 30 minutes, but maybe in a few days. Once I can get some pieces cut out on top of everything else I got to do this week. Yeah, I just got to use my noggin when I'm doing this. I can't be rushing it. And I can take some pretty big old hits. Yeah, I just don't want to do that too much. That was... I wanted to try that big old hit because I'm getting thicker and thicker and it worked but it's that's dicey I gotta make sure I'm seated in the bottom of that bulb and I'm just tapping yeah it's easy to blow away too much but if you notice on the real artifacts a lot of these deep notches get wider as you go inward. It's probably because they're blowing away a lot of the sides because it's getting thicker. And you have to hit harder. The harder you hit, the bigger the chance of it blowing away the sides with a big, big flake. Right? Oops. Oops. Yeah. It's hard to get it to where you can hit it just right. But I think you get the idea. All right, we're going to continue this. Uh, we're going to continue this as a series. Okay, this is only part one. All right, so there you go. I'll get a thumbnail. And then uh, continue on. Continue on in some some future videos coming up this week or very soon. All right, that's it.